Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today um, I have this book uh, by Lewis Royal called Subversive Beauty. This is pretty cool and I didn't review this book in my other video of Re Lewis Royal's stuff, but I think this is the best of the single uh, of these like thin books that he brought that he um, released like several years ago. And I really think this is the coolest one. It has a bunch of these. They're also, um, they're also like uh, posters, and like they're like prints, large prints, and they're actually pretty cool uh, um, to put on your wall and stuff. And it's just like you know, it's the same stuff. And I'll show you some of the the pictures in the book. Kind of starts off with that. Uh, the the cover is really cool. Um, it's pretty thin, but it's got like some nice art in it. It's got like the regular like Lewis Royal art, which has the uh, kind of like girls with all of the little tattoos and stuff. And then they have swords and shit. And uh, really cool swords. And I love how like, check it out, how like, they, they just kind of glow white. I mean, he makes the swords glow white, and I love that he does that. He's the only artist that does that. Just makes the swords just glow, reflect white, which is really cool. And then they have, like, freaking, like, uh, nipple jewelry. Like, shit, like, like hanging off their nipples, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, tattoos, all kinds of freaking tattoos. Uh, this one here, now what's nice about this book here is he also has, um, in addition to the paintings, he also has like um, just drawings. And he kind of has that side by side uh, with the painting next to it. Um, which is really, really cool. And then it's got some, like a little bit of a, of like a thing with it. Uh, this one's called Nosferatu's Kiss, the one I just showed. And that's pretty cool. Nosferatu's like the vampire. Um, just like one of those, that, that movie, and I don't know if that was a book, but it was definitely a movie. It was a black and white movie back in the days. Um, and then like, some of these like, he just goes all out with the tattoos, all the different tribal tattoos. And I'm telling you, they look really good on his girls. Like, and also another one on this one, this is a nicer one I think. Also he has the, uh, the drawing the drawing next to it and this one's really awesome he doesn't just make the drawing he also kind of like makes it red and he just puts the tattoo in red and it just like glows it just shows so much everything else is like kind of subdued in the drawing but the um, the tattoo is red this one is freaking awesome some of these are just so freaking cool uh, he, um, let me see that one let's see which other one we got here uh, we got, we got some really cool ones. Here's an awesome drawing. Look at the movement on that drawing. Just the movement on that. The action in that is just so cool. It's just like, I don't know how he drew the action in that. It just does look like he did a photo shoot of, of the model and she was just standing there. But it's really, really came out awesome. And what's cool is like, basically this book just has this like format with like the picture, right? The final picture, the drawing, uh, get that. the drawing, and then like a little bit of a thing uh, about it. And this one's like Daughter of the Moon. So let's check it out. Light coexisted with darkness in Persia. This is awesome because like, he just puts a little like paragraph here just to narrate the picture and that's that's really cool you kind of tell a story about the picture um, it's always like kind of cool to make up a story with it um, some really nice ones this is a, uh, some like she's got like a back tattoo and a sword you know and I think like the sword goes into the next page um, pretty pretty awesome so all of the girls here are like that they're all gorgeous and um, it's interesting, it's just like different versions of the same, um, and here's the color version, the fully rendered one. 
you know? Like, different versions of, like, the same thing. I, I just love it. I love how, like, they have how he made it and stuff. And then the final version is this one. You know? So I'm going to flip through this. Uh, let's see if there's anything that's cool. Um, and then they go into, like, this one here. Which is, like, it looks like different versions of the same idea. And he kind of, like, did that. You know? So that's kind of cool. It's a little bit of a different thing. Here we go. This, that one was a sketch A, B, and C. And uh, that's really cool. I love how you know, he doesn't just put his finished sketches in there. He puts, like, processes in them. He puts experimental stuff. Because all that stuff has a lot of cool value. Um, it's just, like... I want I really want to see the process stuff. I want to see the experimental stuff. I want to see like just the drawing and how it started. And I also want, you know, it's also cool like reading a little bit of a thing. It just puts your I think just reading the caption puts your like attention on the page. So you don't flip through it and like go one picture after another. It gets you to kind of like read the caption as you're reading it. You're kind of like checking out. You're just kind of looking at the picture more. But like, this one's cool. Medusa's gaze, nice. Right? You know? It's pretty cool. Nice. And, like, basically, like, I, I just love how even though he has the same idea in his body of work, it doesn't... It just stays new and fresh with every painting, with every picture. And here's a another just awesome just like just the drawing and his little line drawings are just as good as his finished pieces his finished work and I, I really think that all of the out of all of the little thin books that he made this is the coolest one this is definitely the coolest one this has the best art in it um, and let me flip through and see if there's anything else like, look at that sword. I mean, every sword is different, right? And even though he has, like, this similarity with all the girls and all the swords and all that, they're different enough to make each one interesting on their own. Uh, flip through that. You know? Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then she's got this awesome, like, gauntlet. You know? So you take, like, gauntlets, and then these are just very interesting elements to put into... Here's just, like, a chick with two, two laser blaster guns. Like, sci-fi blaster guns. Um, I, I really love it. Now, I, I try to... I really tried to, I went on YouTube, we're on YouTube, well, it's supposed to be on YouTube. I went on YouTube and um, I went on and I, and I, and I Googled, well, I, I put YouTube search for Louis Royo. I tried to get, you know, like a process video or like a technique video and see how he works or any kind of interview. He just speaks Spanish. He doesn't speak English or he speaks a little bit of English and... I gotta learn my, uh, you know, I gotta learn some, some more Spanish so I can really understand what that guy's saying. I really, you know, it'd be really cool if there was like some subtitles or something. So anybody Spanish um, that speaks Spanish, um, if you could take like his video and like just edit some subtitles in English so we know what he's saying, that would be great. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, basically, now. It's basically, uh, his motif it seems to be like swords and jewelry. And the jewelry is just like, kind of like, like directly like on their skin, which is just, it's sort of like a tattoo, like a jewelry tattoo. Like, you know, it's, it's like right on her skin and stuff. 